Welcome to Jetline Marvel. In this video, we'll go through the two most popular wide-body aircraft. The Boeing 777X and the A350 are two wide-body aircraft with cutting-edge technologies. These are 21st-century aircraft that have been modified with engines that emit less carbon dioxide. In terms of capabilities and performance, both aircraft are distinct. Wing folding is a characteristic of the 777X, whereas sophisticated composite materials composition is a feature of the Airbus. Let's discuss about the number of seats available. The Boeing 777-9 carries 414 passengers, with 42 seats in business class and 372 seats available in economy. It has a maximum capacity of 426 seats. When it comes to the A350-1000 series of aircraft, there are 369 seats available, with 54 seats in business class and 315 seats in economy. It has a maximum seating capacity of 480 passengers. When comparing maximum seating capacity, the A350 has 54 more seats than the Boeing 777X aircraft. The Boeing 777X has a total length of roughly 251 feet 9 inches, while the A350 has a total length of 242.1 feet. 777X has a wingspan of 235.5 feet, while the A350 has a wingspan of 212.43 feet. 777X is 64.7 feet tall, while the A350 is 56 feet tall. The cabin width of the 777X is roughly 19.7 feet, whereas the A350 has 18.5 feet. When it comes to range, the A350 can fly up to 16,100 km, whereas the Boeing 777X can only go up to 13,500 km. The GE9X engine was used on the Boeing 777X, and it is the world's largest engine in terms of thrust and size. General Electric is the company that powers and develops it which can generate a thrust of up to 489 kN. The Rolls-Royce Trent engine, which is one of the most efficient and powerful engines ever constructed for commercial airlines and can produce up to 431.5 kN of thrust, is featured on the Airbus A350. There are four important factors that propel the Boeing 777 to the next generation of aircraft. Number one, Boeing employed composite materials in the wing construction, and the wingspan is the longest of any commercial passenger aeroplane. It also has the option of folding wings, which can be employed in areas with limited space. Number two, it boasts a giant GE9X engine that was expressly designed for the Boeing 777X and is the most efficient and powerful engine in its class. Number 3. It has a good aerodynamic form, which helps it save fuel and run more efficiently. Number 4. The XXX cabin is modeled after the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, with wider windows, increased pressurization, mood lighting, and superior architecture. The 777X has a maximum takeoff weight of 351.5 tons, whereas the A350 has a maximum takeoff weight of 316 tons. The 777X has a maximum payload of 73.5 tons, while the A350 has a maximum payload of 68 tons. The 777X has a fuel capacity of 158.9 tons, while the A350 has a capacity of 124.65 tons. As a result, the 777X can carry 34 tons more fuel than the B 
The A350 isn't far behind in terms of technological advancement. The A350 was first introduced in 2015, with Qatar Airways as the launch customer. Despite its age, it still has the most advanced technologies in its categories. There are four reasons why the A350 is the best aircraft. Number 1, it's made up of 53% composite materials, which are lighter and stronger than typical aluminum. Number 2, the A350's wings flap while in flight, taking inspiration from nature. The slight motions allowed in the wings minimize drag and fuel usage, however not to the extent that you'd notice. Number 3. The Trent XWB engines from Rolls-Royce are quieter and more fuel-efficient than their current counterparts. These contribute to a significant reduction in cabin noise. Intelligent pressurization, state-of-the-art air conditioning, and mood lighting all work together to alleviate jet lag. Number 4. The Airbus A350 makes use of CFD technologies to improve the aerodynamic shapes and structures of the aircraft, making it more efficient and reducing drag. Despite proceeding well through its testing schedule, the Boeing XXX has yet to be delivered to any airlines. The Airbus A350, on the other hand, has been in service since 2015 and has over 360 units in service around the world. The 777X is being developed as a 777-9 at the moment, but Boeing has plans for a smaller 777-8 variant in the future. The 777X uses about 48 pounds of fuel each nautical mile. A 350 amounts to a 32 pound per nautical mile burn. The A350-1000 is expected to cost up to $366.5 million, while the A350-900 is expected to cost up to $317.4 million. The 777-9 will cost $442.2 million, while the 777-8 will set you back $410.2 million. The 777X received 344 definite orders when it was at its peak. However, as of January of the first year, the number has fallen to 320. Etihad Airways will take 25 of these, despite previously stating that it will only take 6 of the type owing to fleet restructuring. A 350 has been delivered to 34 different airlines throughout the world, including Qatar Airways, Singapore Airlines, and Cathay Pacific. According to Airbus' most recent order sheet, the wide-body aircraft has received a total of 930 orders. There have been 362 deliveries, with the majority of them being the smaller Dash 900 variety. In the comments area, please give your thoughts on the Boeing 777X and the Airbus A350. Which do you believe is the superior aircraft and why? Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. Please like and share this video if you like it. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos. Thank you.